Hey y'all, Matt Hepworth with Studio New and UAD Forums. And we all know that the Universal Audio Apollo can do real-time tracking with UAD plugins. But you probably don't know you can do near real-time tracking with most UAD plugins, even without an Apollo. We're going to use something called Live Track Mode, which will dramatically reduce the latency the UAD plugins have, which is what keeps them from being used in real-time in a native environment normally. And Live Track is available for any PCI Express or Thunderbolt UAD device. Let me show you how to use it. So I have a Pro Tools session set up here with just a couple of tracks created. And I'm going to be feeding this from a DI from a base. Um, before we do this, we're going to make sure that low latency monitoring is off. And then we're going to look at our mix or console window and make sure that we have everything set. Specifically, we want to be sure that we have our delay compensation visible. So if we go view, mix window views, delay compensation. But these are the numbers that are going to be really important here for us. So I'm just going to come in here and insert a DBX160, which is a really common compressor for bass. I'm going to go for pretty standard settings, um, about 5 dB of reduction. And uh, I'll just use a little makeup of about 5 dB to make up for it. This is the Waves DBX160. And you'll notice down here, we've got 85 samples of delay happening from that, so just about 2 milliseconds. Now I'm going to unmute the track, enable input monitoring, and just check the level. Level feels good, so now I'm going to insert a UAD version. The sensitivity is a little bit different between the waves and the UAD, but I'm going to set them so that they respond in a similar way. And I'm going to turn off input monitoring and mute the Waves track. Here's my UAD track. And I've actually got a little bit of delay that I can feel. And that's happening because we have over a thousand samples of latency right here. But here's the magic button. This is Live Track right here. Click that. Watch what just happened. I now have 64 samples of latency instead of 1,088 as you can see down here. And we'll just test that. That feels way better. And if you notice, it actually has less latency than the Waves version, which is purely native. So we actually have less latency through the UAD because of LiveTrack. Now one disadvantage of LiveTrack is it does hit your CPU a little bit when it's enabled. In this case, it's kind of negligible because the CPU hit you get from the Waves DBX160 is roughly equivalent to the CPU hit you get when you enable live track on the UAD version. But you do have to kind of keep an eye on that because that CPU hit is in addition to the DSP hit that your UAD will normally incur. And the reason it does that is because it uses only the UAD hardware buffer. It takes away all the other buffering and goes directly to and from the UAD card. Now, one other thing to be aware of is that some plugins are going to add a little bit of additional latency due to upsampling or things like that. And that will be on top of that 64 samples of latency. We can, you know, we can use most any UAD plugins this way too. So here's a bass amp, for example, the Ampeg B15. This thing's going to sound beefy. But again, I've got this weird feel, and that's because of this latency. So we're just going to hit live track. The latency's gone down. Big old beefy bottom from that guy. And yeah, I know not every native plugin adds latency, but if we do, you know, like a GTR, I mean, there's some latency there. Yes, the UAD is a little higher, but I mean, we're talking negligible amounts of latency. We're talking uh, less than one and a half milliseconds of latency added by the UAD plugin. And of course, if we switch to guitar, we're going to be able to get the same types of benefits. Okay, so now I'm just going to pull up a guitar plugin. Here's a Chandler. You'll notice we defaulted back 
Well, it's one thing about LiveTrack. It does not save its status um, after you open a session or something, so it is something you only do while you're tracking with it. So there's our live track again, down to 64 samples. And so the other thing that's really cool is I can come in here and I can utilize the mono to stereo that you can't utilize without being on an aux in Apollo. So I'm just going to pull up this really excellent UAD uh, fender. And I can actually pan left and right on the two different mics. Then I'll click on my live track, and you'll notice this one adds just a little bit of extra latency. That's because it has some upsampling and other magic and, and probably some convolution stuff happening in there. The input's a bit hot. That's better. Pretty darn cool. I think that's about it. Please leave me a comment if you have any questions or if there's anything that you'd like to see done in a future video. Please touch or click on subscribe. Thanks for watching. Matt Hepworth. See you next time.